what's up everybody so yesterday nintendo dropped some awesome really cool content and one of the things that i am incredibly excited about is the star ocean the second story remake that game was an incredible game for me i loved it when i when i first got the chance to play it uh, back in the early 90s on the place the original playstation um i think it was like my second uh, JRPG that had like a real time battle system. Um, and God, I, my buddy and Andy, I like just we loved that game. We spent tons and tons of hours into it, and I was excited but also concerned when some of uh, the leaks. There were some leaks that were announced that um, Square Enix was remaking it, and I was like, man, it could be. It's either going to be really awesome or it's going to be really incredible. And yesterday on the Nintendo Direct. Uh, they actually dropped the trailer for it, which I was actually pretty surprised for. Um, and holy crap, it actually looks pretty damn incredible. Uh, so in this video today, we are going to check out that trailer again. Uh, and kind of just watch it and enjoy it. And kind of, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite things from it. I literally shed a tear when I, especially when some of the battle stuff started coming out, or, uh, started showing so like I am I'm really excited and I'm really thankful that this game looks as good as it does so let's let's check out the gameplay so I'm using the Nintendo Direct one because that was the first one first trailer I saw there are some other trailers out there actually from Square Enix directly this game is actually releasing multi-platform that you can already pre-order it on Steam um, and then there is the collector's edition if you buy it from the Square Enix store. Two worlds, one fateful encounter. Oh my god, so fateful. A remake of the second Star Ocean game, complete oh, with new graphics that fuse 2D and 3D, god, is so on the good. way. Okay. After look, look at it. So it's like, it's like they almost didn't update the sprites. They just updated the environment that they're in. After a mission goes wrong, Federation officer Claude is stranded on an undeveloped planet. Like, in the there, game. he no, meets Reyna, who possesses mystical game. powers. Was it fate or mere coincidence? I mean, the Soon battle. After, but... the two get entangled in a sinister plot within the galaxy. We didn't have these. In this science fantasy RPG, like select the anime Claude style or Reyna as your hero the and play through the story from their perspective. You'll also meet over a dozen a potential allies be from all walks of life. During your uh, Ashton, Ashton's my favorite. Shows and the adventure, the Let's go back to Ashton. This dude, this dude was one of my favorite dudes. Uh, and there was always a dude that always cosplayed him uh, at KamoraCon and SoccerCon in the, the some of the anime conventions that I went to. His dragons were really cool. Uh, what the part of these dragons name? Euro and a Roo or something? I don't remember. During your adventure, the hero you chose and the decisions you make will have an impact on who can be recruited to your cause. That was one of the cool things. Take place in real time, God, and skills oh can God, be performed it. It with so, a single looks button. 100% like the original. New combat features oh, so in this beautiful. remake include stunning enemies with chain attacks. See? Okay. And have They're talking about like, oh, it's new... New elements for stunning or whatever. I remember being able to stun creatures in the original one. Maybe it's a, just a different way of stunning it. I know it didn't have this uh, this gauge right here. But I definitely remember stunning enemies. Because we would run up and just stun bosses. And just kick the crap out of them. Oh my god, the game, the battle. The battle gameplay looks so good. It looks so intact and so pretty much just like the original. This is a little bit new. This, where you can, um... Having allies not in your current party unleash follow-up attacks. <coughs> letting you map out strategic battles in your favor. As you search for a way home... We're, we're, I'm worried a little bit that that can cause some unbalance with the non-party attack. Attackers Save or whatever. The planet in Star Ocean, the second story R, Looks so Launching good. on Nintendo Switch, November 2nd. Okay, I really want to... I want to go through it. The two giants banished as your perspective. I don't care about that. During your adventure, the hero you chose and the decisions you make will have an impact on who... That was a really cool feature in the original game, too, where, depending on which choices you make, like this dude here, I think, I think it's Dias, 
or Diaz, he wouldn't join you depending on like if you had if you had already recruited somebody else to your party. Um, but I mean, there was just tons and tons of different characters and stuff too, and there were so many really cool collectibles. And man, the game was just oh, the game was just so recruited so so, so excited for this. Battles take place in real time. Oh, the battle! Skills it looks so perfect with a single button. And you have your little character shout-outs. Dragon Roar! New Look combat go. features in this remake include stunning enemies with chain attacks. That's that we had that. And having allies not in your current party unleash follow-up attacks, letting you map out strategic battles in your favor. As you search for a way home, an ancient oh, prophecy so will unfold. And it looks so good. Like this is probably one of the the best perfect remakes I have ever seen. Uh, the only thing I'm worried about with this game uh, is that Your destiny will I, be I really hope that they keep the, Save the planet in really Star intricate. In the second uh, story I really hope they keep the intricate crafting uh, mechanic in the game because there was so, just so many cool things you could craft. And one of the like. You could try to craft a like a like a stock bond or something that would give you money, and then accidentally mess it up and create like a bounce check, and you had to sell this. You had to sell this off because as you walked, it would cost you money to keep it. So you'd have to sell it for negative money. <laughs> uh, but there was so much. There was so much cool crafting stuff. One of the other things that I really loved. Uh, every time you'd go into a town, you'd have your private actions, so your party would split up. And then you could find your party members and talk to them. And one of the cool things to do, like, there was the skill thing, too. You had all these different skills. Um, and you would, I know there were a couple times where uh, we restarted the game on purpose over and over again to start with a particular skill, like pickpocketing. Because if you had that early enough, you could just pickpocket people. And then when you went to those private actions, you could find your own party members and pickpocket them. And if you were successful enough, you would pickpocket like a really good weapon off of them for them to use in battle. And, oh man, it was just so, it was so good. And I am, I am so thankful that Square Enix is remaking this game. They're doing a really faithful remake to it. And uh, I, am, I am so happy. I was so happy with the Nintendo Direct. There was a lot of other really cool like Mario games and really good stuff coming out from Nintendo that I'm going to talk about in a different video. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, I'm still finding this little cough. Uh, but man, Star Ocean, second story. One of my favorite all-time JRPGs. I'm so happy that it's getting remade. And I'm so happy, at least so far, it looks perfect. As long as they keep some of that other, like, they don't dumb down some of the other stuff. I know that's like, that's kind of a problem. For me personally, as I feel like a lot of games, a lot of JRPGs and different things are kind of dumbed down. That's why we don't have a lot of turn-based battles anymore, I feel like. So I hope I hope they don't dumb it down. I hope they keep the intricate crafting system and, and all the other really cool, quirky things that were from the original. Because it looks awesome. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, tell me what you think about the remake and Star Ocean. The Star Ocean remake, second story. Star Ocean, second story. I am so excited. Are you excited for this game? Let me know. Uh, let me know your favorite JRPG. If it's not Star Ocean, let me know what it is in the comments below. Or let me know what you were more excited about for in the Nintendo Direct. Because I'm going to do another video on all the other great epic stuff that's coming out later. Until next time, guys, please be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Logical high five.